So Hare Krishna to all of you and uh, we are discussing Srimad Bhagavad Gita third chapter. The chapter name is Karma Yoga and in Karma also there are two kinds of Karma, Sakam Karma and Niskam Karma. Sakam Karma is when expecting something you know, like a business. I will do this and you have to give me this material business not spiritual totally material so in material business what we do if you do this for me then I will do this for you so similarly uh, they go to Lord expecting something from Lord otherwise they will not worship that is Sakam Karma and this calm karma is they offer their all results to Lord Krishna that is this calm karma this is very important shlok from third chapter shlok number 21 yad yad achadati shrishta tat ta deve taro janaha Sayat Pramanam Kudute Lokastad Anubartate Yat Yat Acharati Shrishtaha Tatta Devi Tarojanaha Sayat Pramanam Kudute Lokastanu Varatate. The meaning is whatever action a great man performs, common men follow. And whatever standards he sets by exemplary acts, all the world pursues. Mahapurush, any great people or famous people, Jojo Acharan Karta hai, how they behave. Then the common people, they follow them. So that's why it is very important so that all the great people, they should accept our spiritual life. Otherwise, what will happen? The, the new generation, they will discuss on this and they will tell, see, uh, they are so great men, so famous and whole world is worship, worshipping them and uh, they are not uh, doing spiritual activity because people's tendency to follow the famous personality now who is the most famous personality here see our name and fame will stay till we are alive and once one leaves leave the body then also how many people care about him but name and fame will be destroyed with the time but the name and fame of Krishna never get destroyed in all the universe maybe for example some famous personality uh, here who have already died he may be uh, famous in this earth globe, but not in another universe, right? But Krishna is famous in all the universes. So it means no one is famous than Lord Krishna. So that's why Krishna is saying, though, though Krishna has to do nothing because he is God, and God can do everything only by His will. He needs to just think about it. He no need to work in action like that. He no need to. It's His power. But still, when Lord Krishna come to here, this earth, and uh, He play a role of a child, then He play a role of a grihastha household man, and then he 
follow all the rules and regulations. Though he no need to follow. Yashoda, Mata and Nand Baba is Krishna's parents. But they are in Vatsalya Rasa. They are not Krishna's um, like uh, Krishna ha came from them. They came from Krishna and because they wanted Krishna as a child, so Krishna accepted their prayers because they did lots of tapasya for that. And now they are parents of Krishna. Similarly, Devaki and Vasudev also devotees of Krishna. When we worship Lord, there are five rasas. Shantarasa, Shantarasa, in Shantarasa there are some devotees. They are like example cows. Cows are also devotees of Krishna. That's why they could stay with Krishna, right? So, but they are in Shantarasa. They don't speak anything, but they love Krishna. And they wait for Krishna, that when Krishna will come and touch us, when he will drink milk, Krishna Krishna drank direct milk from the cows. Cow feels so happy because they love Krishna. And another rasa is Daisya rasa. Daisya rasa means Krishna is my master. I am his servant. And that is Daisya rasa. Example, perfect example of Daisya rasa is Hanumanji. Hanumanji is great devotee of Lord. And he always accept Lord as his master. And he consider himself as the Das or servant of Lord. That is another rasa. Then another third kind of rasa is Sakyaras. Sakya Sakha. Sakha means friend. Those people who accept Lord as his best friend. Many people are there. They accept Lord as their best friend. Then they are in Sakya Rasa. Rasa means the mellows. No? When you eat something, you get some taste. So in devotional life also, there are some beautiful tastes in different, different relationship with Lord. So some people uh, accept Krishna as his best friend. Like perfect example is Arjuna here in Bhagavad Gita. He accepts Krishna as a best friend. And that's why Krishna is telling Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. Not to any other people. Because to understand Bhagavad Gita, we should, we should accept Lord Krishna wholeheartedly. That's why. This is the qualification. And another rasa, fourth one, is in Devaki, Vasudev, Yashoda and Nanda Baba. They are also uh, soul like us. But they got some special... Um, relationship with Krishna that is Vatsalya Rasa they accept Lord Krishna as their son like if you come to Vrindavan then Vrindavan everyone will tell like Are, lalla ko pehle khila do lalla means they have small laddu gopal and bolenge ki Are, lalla ko pehle khila do chota hai wo he is small, smallest in our house the smallest children so please feed him first means they offer Krishna everything first and they eat. That is Vatsalya Rasa. And another is Madhurya Rasa. Madhurya Rasas are gopis with Krishna and queens with Krishna. They accept Krishna as their lover or husband. So that is Madhurya Rasa. So when Krishna came here, though Ishuddha Mata, Nanda Baba, Devaki Vasudev, all are his devotees, but he played role like a small children, no? small child. He afraid of Yashoda Mata and because he took makhan from butter from the gopi's house, <laughs> he still butter. And then that is again another rasa. Gopis also, they, they wait for Krishna. Krishna is famous in all way. Maybe he is a thief because he is taking butter from the gopi's house. But gopis actually wait for him. And the gopi from whose house butter is taken, she becomes so happy. She, she goes to all the gopis and announces that loudly. 
See, today Krishna took butter from my house. And if some Leela happens, like she caught Krishna and she will tell every story and all other gopis will get lots of rasas. So that is, there are two kinds of gopis. Some gopis are in Vatsala rasa. They consider Krishna as their child. And some gopis are in Madhurya rasa. They accept Krishna as their lover. So these are different rasas in Bhakti. But Krishna says it, whenever I come to this uh, place, art then because people will follow me that's why i do all the duties like a good son like you see lord drama he uh, presented like a good son and good king so krishna also king of dwarka he used to um, follow all the uh, all the things like he worshipped in the morning he worship, he do Mangalarti, he do worship and he worship himself, Vishnu Murti. He worship himself and he teaching like this way. And then um, also um, he gives uh, some cows for donation to Brahmanas every day. He arranged marriages for his son and uh, daughters. So these are the uh, examples Krishna set for normal people. See, for uh, material studies, you go to colleges, right? But for spiritual studies, where will you go? Spiritual studies are not properly taken care in our universities. Okay? That's why we should study the Bhagavad Gita so thoroughly, so properly uh, from the people who are practicing Bhagavad Gita so that we can understand Bhagavad Gita. This study is very important. So that's why for material studies you go to teachers and for spiritual studies also you should go to Guru. And Krishna teach this. How? Though he is Lord himself, Lord Rama is Lord himself, but still when they were in this earth, Krishna also went to Gurukula, Lord Rama also went to Gurukula. They studied under Guru. They studied Veda Upanishad Puran, everything under their Guru. So that's why it is very important like uh, Rama's Guru was Vashishta Muni and Krishna's Guru was Sandipani Muni and they gave Guru Dakshina as well. So Yat Yat Acharati Shrestaha. So that's why uh, the people who are really famous, this, this, their every action is very important. Otherwise, people will follow them. So, our life should be exemplary. See, you are a student. And then too, if you are doing bhakti with your studies and you are very good in your studies, then what will happen? Other students will follow you. There are so many examples like this. Some students, they are studying Bhagavad Gita, they are attending Bhagavad Gita sessions and they are practicing Bhakti very well. And then their, uh, their material studies also because they are, now they are very focused, now they are attention stress free and now they are having very good memory power. In survey also it is proven that if someone memorizes and creates slokas, then his memory power increase. So now the students who are following Bhagavad Gita, practicing a good lifestyle according to Bhagavad Gita, and their life changes. So now they are good in the material studies as well. Now some people, some students who are not in spiritual life, they see them, oh, they are practicing spirituality. That's why it might be their marks are increasing so they started following you. You can become an example for other students. So our life should be example for others. This is very important teachings given by Krishna in this chapter. And this is very important. Ki jivan ki har mod par apna leader sabdhani se chune, phir chahe wo rajniti ho ya adhatmikta. You should always have one counselor in your life, a guide in your life. Why? Because if you don't choose properly, then he will bring problem for you. For example, Duryodhana's 
counselor was Shakuni Mama. Arjuna's counselor was Lord Krishna. So Arjuna became successful and Duryodhana he got destroyed. So if you are having a proper guide, proper counselor, especially your counselor should be spiritually you know um, inclined and he should have some scriptural knowledge because then only he can guide you in the right path earlier time in gurukulas they didn't teach only material education they also taught all the students spiritual things also why because if you become a very good you know uh, position you are but if you are not spiritually educated then you will not know that what is dharma what is adharma what is right what is wrong as per scriptures so that's why our counselor should be spiritual by nature so here we can get another very important education केवल निर्देश देने से ही कोई शिक्षक नहीं बन जाता एक आदर्श शिक्षक अपने व्यक्तिगत आचरण से शिष्य को सिखाता है उसके सार्वजनिक जीवन और निजी जीवन में कोई अंतर नहीं रहता सी देर आर सो मेनी पीपल हु आर गिविंग लेक्चर ऑन भगवत गीता नाउ ए डेज बट योर टीचर शुड बी हु फॉलो भगवत गीता हु प्रैक्टिस भगवत गीता बाय एक्शन हु ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट एन एग्जाम्पल to others it's not like to get name and fame someone is teaching bhagavad gita so this is very important this is very important education then uh, we should not accept a person uh, as our teacher unless and until we know that whatever he is telling he is following that you know there there is an example of one person uh, he he is actually a sadhu saint so one grandmother took uh, her grandson to that sadhu because she always teach the boy please don't eat sweets because you you, you are having problem infection in your teeth please don't eat sweets but he never ever listened to grandma that's why she took him to the sadhu then she told whole story then sadhu called called her come after one month then she took the child to sadhu again after one month then sadhu with lots of love told that small boy oh please don't eat sweets it's harmful for your teeth that's it then that uh, child left sweets then grandmother come came to the sadhu that why you, you took one month then that sadhu told grandmother see when you brought your uh, grandson to me that time i was also used to eat sweets when i am eating sweets then how can i tell him not to eat sweets that's why i practiced this one month not to take sweets and then only i advised him because if you practice then only you can advise something to others right and that it is it's having an effect also so this is very important education and devotees they always live a balanced life so there are some examples uh, who are devotees plus very famous personality like uh, Rishikesh Mafatlal, very famous, you know them. They are spiritual by nature. They read Bhagavad Gita. They practice spiritual things. They practice bhakti in their life. And Dr. T. D. Singh, he is a scientist. Alfred Ford, you know, the Ford Motors um, owner. So he is a devotee of Krishna. Dr. Kenneth Walpe, he is a good teacher. Elan Chester he is a singer and George Harrison is he is very famous George Harrison's pop singer so they all are krishna devotee they all practice krishna devotion they all read bhagavad gita so they are example for the coming generations 
so this way we should be example for the other people this is also taught in this shloka and see uh, it's not like you oh, nobody is following me so why should i be example for others no someone will be noticing you someone will be following you hum sabhi kisi na kisi ke liye leader hai to dhyan rakhiye ki kahi hum galat udaharan na ban jaye for example if you are a student you are, you must having uh, your brother sister who are, who are younger than you or you must having cousins or you must having some neighbor children who are seeing you following you observing you so you are also leader for your classroom also you are also a leader for others so we should be very particular in our behavior and in our action shlok number 37 from third chapter shri bhagavan uvacha kama esha krodha esha महाशनो विद्येनामीहवैरिणीभगवाच काम एषा क्रोध एषा रजो गुणा समुद्भव महाशनो महापापमा विध्यनामी हैरिण सो इन दि श्लोक लॉर्ड सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेज से इट इज लस्ट ओनली अर्जुना व्हिच इज बॉर्न ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट विथ मेटेरियल मोड ऑफ पैशन and later transformed into red and which is the all devouring sinful enemy of the world so this is this is the uh, main enemy of every human being and we have already discussed about it that that is why people sometimes um, you know misunderstand lust as love okay they misunderstand if you are putting pistol uh, in someone's um, head and you are saying you have to love me that is not not love that is lust so like if 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 someone is putting acid on a girl because she didn't accepted her his proposal that is lust not love so there are vast difference between lust and love and when for example a boy he is after a girl and when she refuses then he become very angry that is lust and that is the biggest biggest enemy of everyone's life to be focused we should have a very good character for example nowadays there is a fashion that we are not getting married no? we will not get married in our whole life okay that is good if you are not getting married and you can maintain brahmacharya you will be very focused it is a power of a, a person like for example uh, who read uh, who who uh, wrote das capital karl marx there are another example like ratan tata or many many other bachelors then you should properly maintain brahmacharya it's not like i will never marry and i will uh, have lots of girlfriends that is not good better you marry and uh, be fo- be focused with your work with one wife that is good so we should not uh, be characterless we should be uh, having a good conduct good character and we should be like um, focused on our uh, bhakti and on our material duties as well this is very important so that's why it is said that uh the the greatest enemy is lust in this world and uh, this material world is considered as jail it actually uh, jail of lord those souls uh, who are sinful they take birth in this material world and then uh, there are no other uh, like kind of uh, 
बोलते ना लोहे का जेल है इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट्स लस्ट ऑनली बाय बाय बिकॉज ऑफ डेट दे कीप कमिंग टू दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड बिकॉज दे डोंट फोकस ऑन देयर अल्टीमेट गोल एंड अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ एवरी सोल इज टू बैक टू गो बैक टू गॉड हेट टू गो बैक टू गोलोका वृंदावन वैकुंठ वैकुंठ जगत सो दैट्स दैट्स नॉट देयर अल्टीमेट गोल देयर अल्टीमेट गोल इज समथिंग एल्स that i will earn lots of money then i will have lots of girlfriends and then i will enjoy my life that is not the ultimate goal and that's why that is the enemy you know before marriage one should be like hanuman ji brahmachari proper strong brahmachari and after marriage he should be like ram ji you know he should he should be very loyal and faithful and girl also similarly so this should be the character so whom whom we should love we should love lord and uh, that is our natural tendency every soul actually they are having love for lord krishna but still why they are not identifying that because they are uh, in this material world and they are thinking that that the uh, love can only happen with a girl and boy they are understanding everything on material platform bodily platform but we are not boy or girl originally we are soul so soul having a connection with lord so we should actually love lord and when we come to this material world that love become lust here yes so you, you can never satisfy yourself if for example there was one no, <clears throat> prostitute but uh, she was a good good kind of lady because of some situations she became prostitute so uh, what happened one day one person very famous person went to her then he uh, he actually is not satisfied with one woman he keep going under another under under woman then that prostitute was thinking i will teach a lesson to him then she said okay first eat something so she uh, offered the uh, one same sabji in different different pot like ek uh, sone ki katori mein diya same sabji hai sone ki katori mein diya aur ek chandi ki katori mein diya aur ek mitti ki katori mein diya okay so um, three different pots of gold silver and soil then that asked her asked that person okay now eat every sabji little little and taste and tell me how the taste is he is eating sabji from that kulhar also and the soil uh, pot and then from silver and then from gold pot then he said the same sabji why you are providing me different different pots then the prostitute replied so the same thing why you are going from another another woman you should be this why with your wife and you should have a, you should have a good character like she taught the lesson then he understood yes that is true so that's why in this chapter this is also discussed by lord krishna that people uh, are very much into it and that's why they cannot concentrate on another thing even those people who are in lots of enjoyment with women they they cannot be you know concentrate on your material goal what about the spiritual then because illegal relationship illegal uh, relationship like uh, outside marriage relationship is prohibited in scriptures so that's why krishna is saying that it's like um, uh, they are they are covered you know some people are less covered like covered by smoke the fire is covered by smoke and some people are medium covered like cover up uh, a mirror is covered by dust and some people are very much covered or some soul are very much covered they are uh, like in the womb of mother it's very much covered okay so there are different different cover so we should be very take, we should take very good care of it otherwise we can go to the lower uh species like uh, dog cat fish trees we will not get another body of a human being
and this is considered in Bhagavad Gita as our enemy. So how we can uh, be a good character and good conduct? When we jump Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. This mantra is not given by any ordinary Baba and Babu. This mantra is given by, in Kali Center in Upanishad, Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma told to Narad Muni, this Nata Paratarupai, only this mantra can help to Kali Yuga people. No other mantra can help. And all the Vedic man mantras are in this mantra only. Because Kali Yuga people are, they cannot follow lots and lots of rules and regulations. And only this mantra they can chant in any condition. Suchirva, Suchirva, they are um, pure or impure. No? Apna hai, nana hai. You can chant this mantra all the time. So that's why one should jump Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day. And one should read Bhagavad Gita every day. And this way they can control their mind, intelligence and senses. And they can focus on their... Uh, both studies, you know, students, student, student will focus, be focused on material as well as spiritual studies. And uh, Arjun and Hanuman, you know, they are the great example of devotees. So we should, uh, we should try, they are the great example, so we should try to become like uh, them, we, we, even we can become like a dust of their, you know, lotus feet, then also it's a great achievement in our life. So this is mentioned in this chapter. Now we will take some more shlokas from this chapter. So uh, in 15th shloka, it is said in 3rd chapter, Nada te kaisa chit papam Na chaiva sukritam vibhuhu Aikyane na britam gyanam Te na mui hanti jantavaha Actually, Lord never accept anybody's good deed or bad deed. Okay? So, uh, people may think that uh, why uh, why it is happening to me and uh, why Lord is doing this to me like that. But actually Krishna never accepting any good deed or bad deed of any people. So that's why uh, the karma, karma works with us. If we don't surrender to Lord, then what, what happens? Automatically karma uh, attack us or <laughs> if, we, if we take shelter of Lord then automatically karma get destroyed. This shloka is actually uh, from fifth, fifth chapter, shlok number 15 because in fifth chapter is also about, you, you see, fifth chapter is also about the karma yoga but this karma yoga is little different from the third chapter what Krishna is saying now that is uh, karma yoga in Krishna consciousness. So in Bhagavad Gita, if you asked um, what, what is written in Bhagavad Gita, so Bhagavad Gita is actually about uh, how one can understand himself as a soul and how one can connect himself to the super soul. That is the uh, essence of Bhagavad Gita. And if one, one gradually go one by one chapter, then gradually he realize it, that yes, I can now understand that I am soul and now I can do something uh, for uh, my spiritual goal, spiritual life. Again in 8th shloka of 3rd chapter it is said Niyatam kuru karmatvam karma jayo hi karmana sharira yatra pichate na prasiddha yada karmanaha Perform your prescribed duty. Like if you are a student, your prescribed duty is study. And study also doesn't mean only, only material studies. Like whatever your teacher is teaching in your college, you are studying that much. No. Study means this is the life. Study life till 20 years. Especially in Gurukula, 
king's sons were till 20 years. Uh, they are far from their place and they are like staying in Gurukula, learning everything, cooking to collecting, uh, you know, um, collecting wood from the forest and like that. So, um, this life is for study, student life is for study. So, our prescribed duty as a student will be studying and then for doing so, it is better because you cannot stay without working for a minute also your mind will thinking something uh, unless you will be sleeping sleeping is also one kind of work right so um, even you cannot maintain your body if you don't work so one should not be idle and he should not uh, dependent upon others So next is, uh, yes, we have already discussed that uh, whatever we accept, we should first offer to Lord and then only we can uh, have that and that will be then um, free from all sins, okay. So here another shloka in 14th shloka. Annad bhavati bhutani parjanyat anna sambhavaha yajyat bhavati parjanyo yajyaha karma samudbhavaha. So without yagna actually there, there is no rain. Now also uh, rains are coming because there are some people who are worshipping Lord. They are doing yagna. And in Kali Yuga which yagna is uh, given? In scriptures that is Sankirtan Yagna. Sankirtan Yagna means when you um, do Kirtan with devotees. Sankirtan. Sankirtan means Ek Saath Milke Sank Me Kirtan Karna. So that, that we can have when we go to temple. They will be keep 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 um, doing Kirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama This is Kirtan. You can do it me also. And if we both are doing together, it's Sankirtan. So Sankirtan Yajna is the topmost Yajna. And that also we will read in Bhagavad Gita itself. <clears throat> so another thing in Karma Yoga chapter, Krishna is telling that without being attached to Karma Fal. Karma Fal means to result without being attached to result one should do his karma as his duty and that is peaceful to his mind and he can focus more on his karma or work and obviously the result will come best when we offer every result to Krishna and that result will be the best so that's why we should work like this in karma as per karma yoga and Lord Krishna is giving example of Janak Maharaj. You know, Janak Maharaj is a great devotee of Lord Krishna, Lord Rama. And his uh, daughter is Sita Devi. And Sita Devi married to Lord Rama. So Krishna is saying that, see, King Janaka also did his prescribed duty as a king. And remaining king, he was a great devotee as well. So whatever uh, you are studying now or in future you will work, whatever you do, but you can do bhakti in all the time and that is very important. So why important? Because our ultimate goal as a soul is to go back to Godhead. But to live in this material world also, you have some duties and you have to fulfill that remaining Krishna conscious like Janak Maharaj.
That's why Krishna also do his prescribed duties whenever he come from Golaka to here in Bhama Vrindavan. From Golaka Vrindavan to Bhama Vrindavan, then, then also he uh, do every prescribed duties. So that's why taking so much example from all the people and even from Lord, we should also do our prescribed duties. And simultaneously, we should live our life as said in Bhagavad Gita. We should always remain spiritual because we are spirit soul. And then only we can become peaceful and blissful. And also we can do our duty for the body, the prescribed duty. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.